What's good, people? What's up? It's Kirk for Christ. I'm here today because I want to um come on here and share these dreams and visions that God has given me about hell. And a lot of you, um, whoever's coming on this video, a lot of you probably have questions on, you know, is hell really real? Or, you know, yeah, is hell really real? Is this place real or is it just made up? Or are people lying about this stuff? And I just want to come on here and just give my my testimony on what God has showed me. I just want to let you the people know that hell is real. Hell is a real place. And it's not a it's not a good place at all. It's not a good place at all. And I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy after what God has showed me in the dream and event after God showed me in the dream. So as um the other night, you know, God had given me place this you know, took me to hell, took my spirit to hell. Seriously, he gave me two dreams, two dreams. You know, the first dream, you know, that I'm going to share with you, I had previously, like probably a couple weeks ago. And this second dream, you know, he sent me yesterday. It really, you know, it really touched my heart because it's like, it shows how good God is and, you know, how graceful he is towards us, you know, and he don't want nobody to perish. But, you know, because of you know of our disobedience, we send ourselves there, and I'm um I'm gonna just get right into the dream. I'm gonna get straight forward to it. So as I get into this dream, so this will happen. All right, uh, you know, uh, basically, okay. As I as I got into this, as I got to this place, there was like this circle, right? It looked like a well. Let's put it like that. It looked like a well, and as I looked into this this circle, you know, I seen a radiance of light. The radiance of light was the basically the fire coming from hell and I seen I seen it it was just like very you know red and fi fiery basically so as I seen all this stuff you know I knew in my I knew in my spirit okay this is hell this is hell your spirit man already knows like when you're in the spirit you already know I don't know how to I don't know how to um really explain it but in the spirit your spirit man already knows what's going on so as I'm here as I'm here, I see the circle, right? It's just an entrance. I don't see no exit, but just an entrance. And as I'm, I didn't get to see down in, in beneath, but all I just seen was, you know, the circle. And all I seen was the fire, the, the radiance of the light bursting up. And okay, now God showed me a second part of this. I just seen people, you know, walking to the, um, this, to this, um, to this entrance, right? And I seen people literally just jumping in there. There was this jumping, in there willfully willfully and i was like it kind of had me startled i'm like okay i don't understand this god so why are these people just jumping in here and god was showing me in the spirit he don't send people to hell people send themselves to hell because they're willful disobedience they're willful disobedience and this stuff is serious a lot of people are in hell right now and they can never get out again there's only an entrance and there's no exit the place is horrible. The torments are horrible. And that's why I'm going to get into the second dream. The second dream, okay, this is where I actually seen the torments of the, pe of the people that was in there. I only seen one person that I, I was actually to see of his torment. And as I seen him, it really had me sad. Because when I woke up, I really I really woke up like in a sadness and not fear, but just like a haunting feeling. Like, man, this is just sad because this stuff is real. This person down there, I seen it was this man, and he was just being tormented over and over again, just over and over again. It was like something making him down there. As he's like in flames, right? There was like some type of uh, being, I guess it was a demon or something, and it made him do certain things, but it was tormenting. And he didn't want to have to do it, but he had to do it because he was down there. And once you're down there, like I said, once you're down there, God is not his... God, his grace and his mercy is not even down there anymore. It's a torment. It was meant for the devil. It was meant for the devil and his angels. But this person that I've seen, it really, it really sat in my heart because I couldn't do anything for the person. All I just seen was their torment, their great torment. And it really, and it really sat in my heart. And after God showed me that, he brought my spirit back up to the earth. And once my spirit was brought back up to the earth, I was in so much relief because it's like, I saw, you know, the beauty of God, grace on the earth and how blessed we are on the earth. And it really just made me think, you know, I can't take this life for granted. 
can't take this life again. You got to be thankful for everything that you have on earth. Be thankful for your family members and all this stuff. And if you know, if you haven't forgiven anybody, forgive people, man. Forgive people because nine times out of ten, people don't know what they do. That's why Jesus Christ, when he was on the earth, he kept saying, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they do. And that's the truth. Many of us don't know what we do. That's why we need Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said he's the way, the truth, and the life. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ, you need to. Because only he is the way into the kingdom. It says in John 14, It's good that you believe in God, but also believe in me. Because in my Father's house are many mansions, and I go to prepare a place. Jesus Christ, he is the one that's preparing the place for us. It is not God. God said, he, for, for God so loved the world that he sends only begotten son, that whoever believeth on him, they shall receive eternal life. Jesus Christ knows that he is the way. He even said it, I am the way, the truth, and the life. You know, you have to go to Jesus Christ. You have to seek him in prayer and fasting. You have to seek him. And I promise you, you will find him. You will find him. You have to, you have to continue to seek him. You know, like the word says, broad is the path of destruction and many go in. But narrow is the path, you know, to life. And only a few find it. You have to walk that narrow path. You have to be willing to, to walk that narrow path. The information is here. God has placed the information on earth. God has placed his, his laborers. He's calling people. He's calling many people. Many people. Many people to come to, um, to life. But, you know, many people, they just want to choose their own life. They want to choose what they think is right. And, you know... At the end, it would be, be just be destruction. It would be destruction because, like Jesus Christ said, you know, your life is only like a um, vapor. It's only here for a while. And that's the truth. We only live here for a while, people. We all die um, eventually. This body eventually dies. We, this body don't live forever. And I know that you all know this. Whoever watching this, whether if you accepted Christ or if you have not, we all will die one day. We all going to die one day, and we all have to accept Jesus Christ. We all have to. So, you know, once you accept Jesus Christ, I'm going to let you know right now, you know, you have to just, excuse me, I'm sorry, somebody's calling my phone. You just have to accept Jesus Christ, people. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And what God has showed me is prayer and fasting. Prayer and fasting is the best way to seek Jesus Christ. You have to deny your flesh. The flesh loves what it wants, but the spirit loves the truth and life in God. Like the word says in um, Romans chapter 6. I think it's Romans chapter 6. It says, those who walk in the, in, in, in the spirit walks in life, but those who walk in the flesh walks in, you know, and death you have to walk in the spirit it's not easy walking in the spirit because you got this flesh wanting what it wants and what it desires the flesh wants the carnality of life it wants everything of this world but the spirit wants the things of god and let me tell you something when you really accept jesus christ i'm gonna tell you something right now i'm gonna place the word on the screen first john chapter three jesus christ showed me the other day once they embody you into the, the body of christ they place their seed in you. Jesus Christ places his seed in you. And you don't have to sin anymore. Yes, the temptations will be there, but you don't have to sin anymore because the seed is in you. The, the scripture is right here. He places his seed in you. Yes, the temptation is there. Like I said, it's there. And you know you're going to want to do it, but the spirit is going to help you not do it. It's going to help you not do it because it's got God's spirit helping you repel from that sin. It's repelling from the sin. So I just want to come out here with a short video and let you people know that hell is real. Hell is very real. I'm not coming out here to play no games. I'm not coming out here to tell you any lies. I'm not coming out here to get views or likes. But I'm coming out here by the Spirit of God and just telling you people, stop playing. Because God, He loves you. He loves you. And this stuff is real. That's why He sent His only Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us. And that's just the truth. That's just the truth. Yeah, God don't send people to hell. I'm going to tell you that right now. God, he don't send you to hell because he want to send you to hell. He send you to, it's like you send yourself to hell out of the disobedience, out of not uh, operating his laws and his commandments. And that's just what it is. So I hope this video made sense and really brought, you t brought some light to you to let you know that hell is real. And you don't want to play with this. Now, I understand, like I said, we are not perfect. It's a, it's a journey. It's a journey. And Jesus Christ will help you. As long as you're trying your best, the Spirit of God will help you. 
on this path, that you're walking on a narrow path. So I love you all. Y'all have a blessed day. Peace.